In this video of Dig In, I'm gonna show you how to attract hummingbirds into your yard or garden. A lot of people want to know how to attract hummingbirds to the yard. Well, the first thing I always ask people is, why do you want to attract them to your yard? They're fun to watch. They're a lot of enjoyment. Also, they're great pollinators. They're amazing pollinators. They visit lots of different flowers and help mother nature out significantly, as well as it's a very easy hobby to get into and it's affordable and it's fun for people of all ages. What I typically recommend is to check out the migration maps. We've got a link below that you can check out and it'll let you know if the hummingbirds have migrated into your area. The next thing you need of course is a hummingbird feeder and some nectar. It's pretty simple. There's lots and lots of different styles of feeders out there that you can choose from, glass ones, plastic ones. Pick the one that you like the best. It doesn't really matter as long as it's got some feeding ports to it. Most important thing is nectar. So of course you need a good nectar. There's lots of recipes out there that you can choose from to decide if you want to make your own nectar. I like this sweet seed nectar. They carry it in a ready to use in this red bag. There's also a purple bag one that is a concentrate. It's a great one because it's wildflower infused and it's got electrolytes in it as well. And it's easy to use because it's got this great little pour spout on it so I can hang it from a hook and I can fill up my feeder with it. I typically don't like to fill up my feeders when I first go to hang them all the way full because I don't know if I'm gonna have the correct spot. So I like to fill it up just a little bit just to see if I can attract them, make sure I'm in the right location and then I'll fill them up from there. Location, location, location. That's what everybody says about bird feeders and especially hummingbird feeders is try them in different locations until you get the right spot. So they typically are gonna like a little bit of a protected area, a little bit of sunlight, a little bit of shade, kind of a half and half mix would be great some portion of the day getting some sun some portion of the day getting some shade but they like to have shrubs and other things nearby that they can zip off to and hide to keep it in a protected area try different locations if you're not attracting them try a different location or add more feeders it's a great way to do it you just add a couple more feeders sometimes you might have hummingbirds visiting but if you've got multiple hummingbirds visiting they typically are pretty solitary and they don't like other hummingbirds feeding with them the next thing you want to do is clean your feeders cleaning your feeders is a extremely important because the nectar can go bad fairly quickly. And so typically what I like to do is try and find out how much nectar I need in my feeder to get it through about two to three days and fill it to that point each time. And that way it's emptying itself and then I'll clean it and refill it. But if you've got some nectar in there, you typically want to change it about every two to three days when the temperatures are below 90. If it goes over 90 degrees, you're probably going to need to change your nectar every other day, if not every day. So just keep them clean. It really keeps the hummingbirds in your area nice and healthy. Fun fact is hummingbirds eat gnats, spider mites, and aphids, as well as mosquitoes. So not only will they help your plants in the area, but they'll also help you enjoy your backyard a little bit more too. Add more accessories over the time. There's lots of different types of feeders out there. There's fun accessories like swings that you can add. Um, and it's just so much fun to enjoy attracting hummingbirds into your yard. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you've got any suggestions of future videos that you wanna see, and we'll see you next time.